basi tunaweza kuketi kidogo uh, nataka nichukue fursa hii nishukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya nafasi wakati na siku ambaye ametupa amen uh, tu, tungali hai kwa hivyo Mungu ana mpango maalum kwa ajili ya kila mmoja wetu sema amen haleluya basi vile uh, um, askofu amesema mimi ninatoka redeemed gospel church huruma na hapo ndipo nime niliokokea nili nikiwa sina ship niliokokea huruma nikiwa juu nianze saa hii bado ngoja kwanza bas naleta salamu kutoka redeemed headquarters huruma kutoka kwa askofu John Bankowski mmepokea mnakumbuka John Bishop John yes amenituma na salamu ili mpate uh, kufurahia pamoja nasi wakati tunapoendelea na kazi ya Bwana mama pia wote wanajua niko hapa leo kwa maana likizo yangu iliisha lakini kutokana na arrangement yenye Mungu aliingilia ikawa ni lazima nikuje leo amen pokeni salamu pia kutoka kwa mke wangu uh, na watoto ambaye hawako hapa Kenya wako US wote wako US ninawafuata hivi karibuni ah uh, hivi karibuni bwana atukuzwe uh, mpokee salamu mmepokea amen asante sana uh, mungu ametubariki nifanye introduction vizuri mungu ametubariki uh, uh, na watoto takriban takriban tatu kwa nyumba moja vijana wawili na msichana mmoja my first born anafanya kazi second born anamaliza ile ile system ya huko hata saa zingine nasahau system ya huko ngambo huyo ni wa pili watatu pia anamaliza sehemu fulani ya system amen mimi ninaitwa Michael Okelo Obonyo. Mke wangu anaitwa Milka. Alafu kijana wa kwanza anaitwa Mark. Kijana wa pili anaitwa Moses. Watatu anaitwa Masi. So M ngapi? fanya fujo uone nyumba imejaa na hapo ndipo Mungu alituambia tujaze ulimwengu yetu na tumefika hapo uh, sijui kama atabadilisha nia uh, atuambie tuendelee uh, lakini sasa ni ulimwengu wetu na tumejaza amen bwana sifiwe mimi pia ni mwimbaji nimeimba nyimbo kadhaa fundi wa mtambo iwapo unaweza tu kwenda kwa YouTube utatafuta Reverend Michael Bonyo kuna nyimbo kadhaa hapo sijui hata uweke tu tayari tutaimba baadaye Nashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya waimbaji Mungu awabariki kwa kazi njema Nashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya Ashas na Deacons pamoja na Protocol wake wa wachungaji wapigiwe makofi Asante kwa ajili ya kwaya nzima. Asante kwa ajili ya Sunday school mwalimu. Mungu akubariki. Wana vyombo. Wapigiwe makofi fundi wa mtambo. Haleluya. Basi nimetumikia Mungu kwa hivi sasa miaka Tena na tano redeemed gospel church huruma. Kwa hivyo sio geni. Mimi penye apostle yuko pamoja na ndugu yangu Bishop Jonah ninanyenyekea. Kwa maana wote walitangulia. 
Nilimjua apostle akiwa madhari. Aki interpret. Interpreter. Paka kipindi cha ordination ya wachungaji kadhaa nilipenda sana vile ana interpret. Upata mjaluo ku interpret Kiswahili. Mimi <laughs> ujiza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na wakati huo sikuwa ninajulikana sikuwa sehemu yoyote hmm atarufu yangu haikuwa mahali lakini kipindi fulani kafika mambo ikaanza kubadilika na hivi mpaka wa sasa mambo imebadilika nataka tuende kwenye neno la Mungu na leo ni kama waimbaji pamoja na apostle wameshikilia chenye nitashiriki kwa ufupi ni kama swali Do you believe in your prayers? Uliza mwenzako, je, unaamini maombi yako? Do you really believe that what you pray for will come to pass? Do you really believe that god can make impossible things to be possible do you really believe that your prayers can make a difference in your own life bwana sifiwe sijaanza or do you pray without hope you can be one of the believers who don't believe you can be one of the believers who don't pray who pray but don't believe from today i want you to change your perspective towards what you ask god to do because it must come to pass praise the lord God did not give you or give us the ability to pray for no reason. Uko na uwezo wa kuomba na iko na sababu. Ah, geukea mwenzako mwambie siombagi tu, ninaomba na sababu. Ukiona mwingine akuambii ah geukea mwenye anaweza kuongea. Nina huwa ninaomba na sababu. Na, na mtu mwenye anaomba na sababu yeye akija kanisani ni, ni mtu tofauti mwenye anajua ya kwamba maombi yake ina kiini kiini haswa cha majibu ana utofauti wa tabia ana utofauti wa kuimba ana utofauti wa maombi ana utofauti wa kukaa ana utofauti na wengine wenye hawajaamini maombi yao inafanya kazi maombi yako na nguvu zenye ziko ndani yako ni lazima italeta impact kwa maisha yako oh shalama god wants you to share your thoughts and heart desire with him there must be a fellowship there must be communication lazima ujue mungu yuko ni wama
na yeye ujibu maombi yenye anatoka ndani ya moyo haleluya and he will answer you according to his will any prayer that you pray with hope and faith according to the will of god must be answered so we are in for a great blessing the bible says the promises of god are come on talk to me the promises of god are yes and amen to them that believe and they are do you still believe in your prayers the promises of god are yes prayers combined with faith are very powerful even more the prayer can become so powerful even more than what others are saying about your life kuna wengine wanaonanga wewe hautaweza kwenda popote lakini sikiliza maombi yako iliyo na imani na tumaini itakukatapult ikuweke mahali penye wengine hawajaamini watasema peke yao onadi komenyaga we uwo gai gai washi ama ndeti wo wataangalia wewe na wataona picha ya mtu tofauti watashangaa chenye Mungu anafanya Bwana asifiwe sana Mungu ako tayari kukujibu ako tayari kukupatia ako tayari kukuinua ako tayari kukujazia ako tayari kukunyanyua ako tayari kukubariki Isaiah 65 and verse number 24 nataka tusome pamoja before they call i will while they are still speaking i will yani before you call he will before and even when you are still talking wewe katikati ya maneno yako yote katikati ya vile wengine wanaongea katikati ya vile masengenyo yako bado Mungu hatazuiliwa na chochote he will hear your prayer today there is somebody's prayer that must be answered leo lazima maombi yako yajibiwe leo lazima maombi yako yajibiwe kelele zingine zitanyamaza mungu atajibu maombi yako sema amen hata kabla haujauliza yeye tayari amesikia ambia mwenzako wacha wasiwasi wacha wasiwasi tulia hautapotea vile Mungu alikuokoa ni lazima atakupeleka mbele Bwana Yesu asifiwe Unajua kwetu Bishop tuko watoto takriban 15 Huyo ni wa mama moja Wangapi? Moja, mbili, tatu, ine, tano, sita, saba, nane, tisa, au ni watoto. Ambaka kumi na. Mimi ni watano. Kumbuka kwangu niko na five M's. Unajua? Tulizaliwa tukisereleka na tukiingia katika umaskini na kuchekwa na kusengenywa 
mpaka shuleni umaskini yenye tulikuwa nayo inasababisha mwalimu anichape ani bila sababu anakupiga ngoto bila sababu anakuchuna bila sababu juu wewe wewe ni mweusi alafu hujajipaka mafuta umekrak krak kisirani inakufuata alisema leo bonyo hakuna mahali mtakwenda umewahi kuonewa na wenye wameonewa umewahi kukataliwa na wenye wamekataliwa wanasema hii yako si kama yetu na wao wamekataliwa alafu wanakukataa ilifika mahali hata mimi nimekataliwa na wenye wamekataliwa wame wakikuangalia hauna mbele wala What is it that shall mount out or up in this village? Wakikuangalia unaweka minus. Lakini maombi wokovu imani tumaini Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ikaanza kuleta utofauti kwa nyumba ya watoto 15 tulikuwa tunazaliwa watoto wanabeba watoto wewe ni mtoto na unabeba mwingine kwa mgongo analia njaa lakini ana mama anakuambia kuja hapa chukua huyu mtoto enda naye utembe kwa jua anachomwa na jua alafu analala hakuna uji Hakuna chochote. Juu hii nyumba ni moja. Kuna nyumba mbili. Lingine liko na watoto kumi. kumi. Na nyingine tisa. Hao ni wangapi? Eh? 34. Uziko 34 35 hapo. That is a family. One one father. A community. Tati usiweke wajukuu. Wajukuu wako hata mapacha. Kwa hivyo namba inapaa. Baba ni mmoja. Chakula hakuna. Watu wanaangalia bomo wanasema hapo mm -mm. umaskini ilikuwa ni kwamba kwenda kuchukua moto kwa boma nyingine na nyasi hiyo <laughs> afadhali wewe kafaa eh. ulizaliwa vizuri mimi sisi tulizaliwa mahali mpa paka penye tulitoka tunasema tumenusurika unajua kunusurika ai sirudi hapo kunusurika ni ku unaepa kifo kifo ya njaa unaepa unaweka moto unatembea nayo imeanza kutoa moshi unakimbia inawaka <laughs> unaangusha uko unangojea na mama ni mkali mwenye njaa ni mkali anasema umekaa sana kumbe moto iliwaka njiani unarudi chakula ilikuwa inaletwa kwa sinia kubwa mchanganyo ugali hapo 
Mboga, nyama usiongee juu yake. Wala rais usiongee juu ya rais. Kwa maana tulikuwa tunaiona Disemba. Chapati. Hata saa zingine haiko. Tunangojea chakula inakuja. Uko tayari? Yeah. <laughs> Kila moja ameshika zamu. Iwe ni dada ni unajua kuna maisha ingine unaweza pelekeshwa mpaka ukue gangari. <clears throat> Kutembea kwako <clears throat> unatembea kama kama askari hata wewe sio askari. <clears throat> vitu vyako ni tata ujazoea upole ujazoea vitu zinaenda ujazoea amani au ujazoea utulifu unalala haraka unaamka haraka unatembea haraka kula haraka unarudi haraka so chenye kilikuwa inatusaidia ni nguvu zako Sema nguvu zako. Na kujua ya kwamba you will not miss. Inaletwa kabla ijafika chini. Imeisha. Kuna mwingine alikuwa anashika wenzake mkono. Bora tu kule Sasa siku moja ndugu yangu mmoja akaokoka Na huyo ndio bishop sasa hii Mmoja ndiye ameokoka kwa community hii yetu Aliokoka peke yake Tulianza kunywa changaa tukiwa wadogo kwanza mimi nilikuwa mbaya sana. Hata sura inaweza kuambia. Nilikuwa mbaya. Nikatoka nyumbani nikakuja madhani na kata kata ili tupate tupate kwenda kwa point. Nitakushuhudia nita kidogo, sema neno kidogo. Sawa? Nikakuja madhari dare vale nikaingia mabatini mabatini huko ndiko kuna changa zile za kupoteza watu macho nikaingia huko nikaingia nikavuruga na huko huko ndio kuna kuanga na mamitaro zenye unaruka Hop, step and jump. <laughs> Umeruka kama kadhaa. Za mtaro za nini? Au useme. Saa zingine unaenda kuruka. Unateleza unaingia na nani yote. Sasa anko yangu alikuwa na uwezo kidogo. Akatupangia nyumba madhari Nyumba hiyo ilikuwa nyumba ya wenye wamechelewa. Mimi nikiwa mmoja wao. Mmoja wao. Wenye amenunulia changa, walikuwa naenda Kariobangi lakini wameshindwa. Wanabebwa. Wakati wa El Nino. Hiyo nyumba ilijaa maji. Na ile ndiyo nyumba yenye una inama unaingia kwa shimu ndi unainuka na ni ya matope nyuma yake kuna mahali naitwa adharani adharani ni mahali pa shughuli za usiku wenye hawana cho ngine pale ngine pale ngine pale huko ndiko kuna flying iko nyuma yetu 
Ndio nikiimba ni amenitengeneza Yesu. Ujuange huyu ametoka wapi? We uko kwa nyumba lakini mwengine anakuja nyuma ya nyumba yako. Anaanza mpaka anamaliza ukimzikia tu. Hana hivyo. Na anakwenda. Lakini sikiliza. Siku moja hiyo ni baadaye nimekatisha. Nikasema ni nini watu wanaendaga kufanya kwa hii tent ya huruma na wenye wanatoka huko mbona wako smart nataka niende nione kama huwa anagawiwa masuti nikaenda nikakaa nyuma kama wewe Enye utaki kusumbuliwa on to your mark get set Nilikuwa na hangover Nikavaa slippers zenye azifanani Ujue penye nilikuwa sasa Moja ni ya kampuni nyingine na nyingine ni ya kampuni nyingine Na zimeshikwa na waya Niliokoka na sweta yenye si yangu. Tumbukiza. Ndugu yangu ndiye alikuwa na interpret na askofu wetu bishop Kitonga alikuwa na anahubiri. Mimi nikasema acha niende nione hawa watu wanafanyanga nini. Nikashikwa. Nilikuwa mbaya mpaka ndugu yangu hakuwa naamini naweza kuokoka. Wakati watu waliitwa mimi ndio wa kwanza na slipa zangu blue na red. Na zimeshikwa na waya. Nikapanda nikaenda mbele. Nikasema maneno yale niliambiwa. Nikaamini kwa moyo wangu niliona ndugu yangu amechanganyikiwa alikuwa na interpret akachanganyikiwa kidogo ni yeye si yeye kumbe ni mimi kuanzia wakati huo mpaka wa sasa na unaji isitoshe hey. Misi kuokoka nikiwa mzee niokoka nikiwa kijana kijana lakini nilikuwa kama mzee Bwana Yesu asifiwe nika amini nikaokoka nikaombewa nikapewa wenye tulikuwa nao kwa ulevi kanipatia wiki moja mwezi moja mwaka hata wengine hawako sasa mimi bado nimesimama gangari na hubiri habari njema. Haleluya. Kabla hata hawajaongea, mimi ni Mungu nasikia. Kabla hawajaomba, mimi ni Mungu. Sikia. Sikia. Mungu anafanya kazi. Ona gai wa kwa ni gai wa ma Mimi binafsi ndio nilikuwa naachwa ushago yangu Sasa nilikuwa napelekwa kwa nyumba kubwa Mwenye nyumba kubwa anakasirika. Ananipeleka kwa nyumba ya pili. 
kwa nyumba ya pili anakasirika ananifukuza inaenda kwa nyumba yetu okay wacha wacha ni explain hapa hujaelewa eh, eh, mama yetu ndio mdogo kwa akiwa mdogo alipendwa sana so alikuwa anaishi mjini na mjini ni wapi nakuru town wengi waliishi huko ndiposa unasikia jona bishop anaongea kikuyu so mateso yenye nilipitia nikana kwamba singeweza kujua unaweza toka kwa nasifiwe sana lakini kwa kila jambo nilizingatia sitasema yote nilizingatia kumwamini Mungu kwa ajili ya maisha yangu binafsi ibadilike kisha baada ya kubadilika ibadilishe wengine do you believe in your prayers ask your neighbor je unaamini maombi yako yanafanya kazi mark mark 11:24 mark 11:24 Nataka niende haraka sasa. Therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe tell your neighbor believe that you have received it. and will be let's read it again therefore i tell you whatever you asked for in prayer believe that you have believe that you have do you believe that you have received I challenge you to believe more than how you have been believing go a step a notch higher for all things are possible to them that believe Usitoe kwanza believe that you have let me ask a question Wangapi wanataka kitu kutoka kwa Mungu? Believe that you have want that thing to enter your heart. Ah! Hapa ni lazima kutakuwa na harusi. Si unaona penye huko? Unasikia vile unapiga makofi? Oh, okay, ni mimi. Kutakuwa na harusi. Believe that which you need, you have. Oh my goodness. Hapa kutakuwa na wados wenye magari makubwa. Believe that you have received and it will be yours now listen wakati kulikuwa na simu za mkono nakumbuka penye zilianza Motorola Ericsson eh Sagem zile za kuweka hapa zilikuwa kama wokitoki sasa <laughs> Kwetu kanisani wenye walikuwa na simu wa kwanza ni askofu na mama. Mimi ndani yangu nikasema hata mimi nitakuwa nayo. Why not? Katika enzi hizo line line peke yake ilikuwa pesa ngapi? Eh? 
2500 na mimi nyumba yenye naishi ni ya 2500 lakini natamani nini simu miujiza ikafanyika nikapata pesa hiyo ni testimony peke yake sitaenda huko nikapata pesa chairman nikapata pesa nikauliza wife hii pesa nimepata lakini natamani kitu tamani timu yes wende ununue nikachangamka mara hiyo hiyo nikakuja na simu na nikakuja na Motorola kubwa yenye kwanza inafunguliwa aerial inavurutwa aerial nikiongoza ibada nimeinunulia kajumba kake nikaweka hapa sasa sikia kizungumkuti ni kwamba si kwa na mtu yeyote yako na simu ni mimi tu sasa hata nikijikaza nayo ni simu moja na, na hata kupiga air time peke yake lakini nilitoboa hey, nili, lazima Mungu atakutumia ili upate kwa kielelezo kwa ajili ya watu wa all things ah in fact you have to believe So nikaanza kuchochewa ndugu wapendwa wanasifueni sana. Eh, hapa ku, ni kuzuri. Nikapata ndugu mmoja nikamwambia endo nunue simu. Ako na pesa lakini hana ufunuo. Nikamchangamsha. Akaenda kanunua simu sasa ni yeye na mimi. Rafiki yake pia akaona yeye ako nayo. Pia akanunua na tukaanza kuwa wengi. Network. Network. Network yako itaanza mahali. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kukakuja pages, pages. Ungapo nakumbuka pages. Ndio pages. Ah, okay, sawacha so niachi hiyo. Amen. Kawa na simu tuna communicate unajua penye unaona utafika ama une, umechelewa ni lazima utafika believe just just believe just just believe hebu ambia mwanzo just believe simply believe uh, simply believe just just believe believe and it shall be yours not your neighbors yours It shall be your address is on it. Your email is on it. Your your itapoteza njia. Amen. Kwa ndugu bwana sifueni. Usiende kutafuta mtu nje uokokeshe. Ndiyo sasa utamuoa a ah, ah, si mwokozi. Wako hapa. Wako hapa juu. Wengine wananiona kwa kio. Huko. Wananiona, wananiona. Hawatakangi maneno mengi. Haya. Mtu wa kwanza kununua gari ama kununuliwa gari ni mimi. Huruma redeemed gospel church. Sikia chenye kilifanyika. Nilikuwa natamani sana mama. Kuona yani ninaona watoto wa, wa watu wengine, sema watu wengine. Watoto wao wanacheza uh, mimi nikiwa okay niko mbele ya matatu mbele. Mbele kwa kiti cha mbele ya cha matatu. Mimi nachukua hiyo is very important. kiti cha Hapo mbele penye huko karibu na driver eh utaki maneno mengi 
Eh, watu wanga, watu wanga kiti cha mbele. That ni important. Sikia. Sasa nikiwa pale kwa kiti cha mbele naona mtu na gari na watoto wanacheza kwa kiti cha nyuma. Ninasema kai. Hata mimi, hata mimi siku moja hawa watoto wangu watacheza kwa kiti cha nyuma na mwingine ataniona akiwa kiti cha mbele kwa matatu. Nikatamani kuwa na gari. Bishop akakuja siku moja tu. Akasema tunamnunulia ob- obonyo gari. Obonyo wako wapi? Gari. Na unajua sijui kuendesha gari? <laughs> Nikapewa pesa. Sema pesa. Ya gari. Nikanunua gari. Na sijui kuendesha. Kanunua town mwenye alikuwa nauza nikamwambia hebu ingia ndani ya hii gari tu test nisikie vile ina nguruma mjanja huyu mjanja nikamwambia twende hivi twende hivi twende hivi kumbe ananipeleka nyumbani twende twende pitia hapo au usipite hapo kanyaga break Sina kopi. Ati gari, sina. Nafika home. Eh pak vizuri, ndu eh. Uko sawa eh, nimechangamka. Ndio njoni, njoni. Nilikuwa nimeshaoa sasa. Njoni. Ya muone. Ah, mke wangu ananiita daddy. Ni 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 gari. Ni 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 gari. imetoka wapi ni, ni, ni yetu <laughs> nafika hata yeye mwenyewe haamini alafu sasa nikamuuliza uh, yule jamaa uh, unajua vile tulikuja eh unajua akaniambia eh hey, ninaweza gaze uh, chukua hii 20 bob wewe urudi akarudi town na matatu mini kaachwa na gari nikiacha chenye kilifanyika nikachukua kifungu nikaweka kwa mfuko nikaingia kwa matatu tena ninarudi church na wakati huo watu ndio walikuwa wanapangwa ndio kupangwa na pangwa alafu nikafika round about mlevu mwingine akaingia akanikalia nikamwambia huyu kama angejua jua kama angejua niko na kif- eh niko na kifungu ya gari kwa mfuko <laughs> hange nikalia hange nikalia hange nikalia sikia kumbe wewe kuna kitu umebeba na watu hawajui hivi karibuni watakuheshimu umebeba kitu wajui kumbe ipo and god can do much more even abundantly than what we can think or pray or ask according to the power that works within you the power to cause things to happen nikafundishwa kuendesha gari na makanika sema makanika kanipeleka kanirudisha kanipeleka akaanza kuniachia ananiachia 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 mpaka akaniachia kila kitu katika maisha yangu ni miujiza 
he left you. I am a living testimony. Kama unataka anga kuona Mungu akifanya kazi. Sikia leo. Tuliowana kama hatuna mbele wala nyuma. Si pesa inaoa. Mhm. Ni ndugu anaoa dada. na ndugu mwenye anaoa dada amaanisha kuna kitu huko ndugu mwenye anaoa dada maanisha kwa maana yote yanawezekana Usikate tamaa. Niliamini Mungu kwa ajili ya mke. Nikapata. Hata kama alikuwa anajificha. Fiche tu. Kuna wandugu hapo wako sharp. Mm. Nikamwambia uh, bana sifiwe amen bana sifiwe haleluya hiyo biblia yako ni mzuri nilianza na biblia nikasikia kitu imeingia ndani nikaanza kukemju nilikuwa mstari na niko mstari wa mbele sitaki majaribu nikaanza kukemea in the name of jesus in the name of bro hiyo kitu inarudi tu hiyo kitu inarudi nikasema mungu una nini na huyu dad Aniambia hebu jaribu endelea. Nikakanyaga second step. Nikaalikwa kwa fellowship. Mwenye ana serve ni yeye. Mimi nikasema I will revenge. Come to my self confused house. Na muje na wengine. Na nika save 2500. Kuna kitu kwa 2500. Na nika save na nikanunua sausage, nikanunua samosa, nikanunua maandazi, nika nikapika chai kwa stove yenye ukizima. Stove yenye ukizima hata wewe unatoroka. Wewe pia unaenda nje. Na nyumba ni ndogo. Dirisha ifunguli wangu. wakakuja wa ndugu nikafikiria kuna ndugu mwingine amemwona kumbe wa ndugu wengine ni wadudu tu hawaona mimi nikaona nikasema huyu lazima ni time na nimwambie nikamwambia sasa na kualika kwa ile ingine utapata nafasi akasita Aka sita, sita. akasema okay akauliza mwenzake mwenzake akamwambia sikiliza Ujui kama huyu anakutafutia job. Eh. Hey. Mimi nitoe wapi job? <laughs> Mungu akatumia huyo dada. Kumbe kuna job. Tukaenda kwa hoteli waziwazi. Nikanunua tena samosa sausage. Na ah. Huko siku anafika. Kuna kitu 2500 inafikisha mtu. Umbali huo ndio nilifika. Kapot, pot ya chai, najua inakonga bei eh. Pot. Alafu nika mimi nikajisort na maji. Niza siwe ukule amana mimi niko saa. Kumbe niko njaa. Akakula akafika katikati. Breaking news. Kamwambia okay sasa kuna mtu yote amewahi <laughs> wewe kwa tuna formula yako lakini yangu ilikuwa yangu tu nikamuuliza kuna mtu yote amewahi kuku approach anataka kukuoa sio boyfriend girlfriend mhm 
Huku owa. Owa. Na nime mwangalia. <laughs> Naka sema apana. Na hapo katikati wandugu nikuwa nafikiria kuna mwingina memuona. Nika mwambia ok. Hakuna? Mimi sasa. <laughs> Mimi sasa. Ati hakuna. Uuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
alizaini akiwa huko na vile alizaini akiwa huko akaanza kazi nzuri sasa chenye kimefanyika ni kwamba clearing and forwarding ikaanza watoto mimi nikasimama na clear na ku forward vile tunavyoongea hivi sasa mimi niliachwa niangalie mali isiende mahali popote alafu ndio nipeleke ushago nipeleke madhe ama nipeane angalia mwenzako umwambie tuheshimiane What is a citizen resident citizens wa US What are you America wamebadilisha Kiingereza mimi ni you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying na walikuwa nasoma hapa hapa Nairobi paipu paipu only in your prayers that they can work juzi juzi tu akarudi asema tunanunua nyumba anunua nyumba unakumbuka self confused unakumbuka ile ya, ya watu waliokataliwa na sasa hii niko kwangu now labda hiyo iwezi kuwa mzito huko kusukuma huko na kwa lakini mimi hapo eh, uniondoi utanitoa maana vyote vizekana mmm stari ya mwisho alafu tufunge ah uh, only believe in the prayers that you are giving unto god matthew 21 22 21 inasemaje Mepata When Jesus If you believe you will come on talk 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 to me if you believe you will whatever you ask for in if only you believe you will receive i believe watu wako hapa god is going to meet with your heart desire you have to believe to receive the things that you have desired some people are believing god for increase god will increase you god will expand you i say god will do something in your life now the egyptians that you see god is going to make you not to see them again the problems and the house problems that you have you will not see them again the lord will remember your children wherever they are the lord will come through for you god is going to lift somebody because you are going to believe god is going to lift you kuna mtu anaenda kupata kazi kwa nini kwa maana ameamini tena sio kazi rahisi tu atapewa kazi yenye ina maana sana God our God advances people. He promotes people. He lifts people. God may God lift you. Tell your neighbor may God restore you. May God give you speed. 
to develop. May God renew your strength. May God restore. May God perform in the name of Jesus. Now listen, this, as I close, God is going to give you people. God is going to connect you with the divine people that will connect you to your destiny. God is going to give you men of influence. God is going to give you gifted people. God is going to give you burden bearers. God is going to bring somebody to you and minister to you after which ataondoka lift up your right hand and say god give me somebody of influence in riru wherever i am staying bwana let him to mwenye ako na connections and he connect let him to mwenye ana vipawa anipeleke mahali katika jina la Yesu i prophesy to your life may it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus some of you will remember today because the bondages are going to break the work of the enemy is going to break the powers of darkness the curses are going to break why because you have believed god stand up on your feet you have believed God and God is doing it right now. God is doing it right now. Maybe you are here and you are saying, I've passed through a lot. There are things that are going on in my life. Just lift up your hands unto God. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands unto God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God Almighty, my Father, 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 you are able, 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 Lord, you are able. Baba naomba ukumbuke mtu, ukumbuke mtu hapa, ukumbuke mtu hapa, ukumbuke mama huyo, ukumbuke kijana huyo. Bwana anakupenda sana. Huyo anakupenda zaidi. Machozi haya uyavute. Yavute machozi haya. Yavute uzuni. Yavute machozi. Ondoa milima, ondoa maponde. Tengeneza njia pasipo. Tunakuamini Mungu. Kwa ajili ya miujiza. Shalaba. Shalaba. Yes. Yes. Yes Lord. Ribalabalaba, shika talama. Mungu kama alinifanyia atakufanyia wewe pia Mungu kama alinitendea atakutendea pia Yes Lord Yes Lord Master 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 Jehovah Elohim El Shaddai, Rafa, Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, God. Shera bara bara katalaba. labda uko hapa na unasema umefika mwisho umefika mwisho umefika mahali unaona uko na uweza njoo alafu niite apostle njoo hapa mbele inatoa mikono yako surrender all to you everything i give 
Njo, njo, njo. I surrender to you. Everything. Everything I give. Jo, jo, jo. To you. Surrender.
Everybody just stand up. Wale ambayo mmekuja mbele tafadhali simama. Katika jina la Yesu, katika jina la Yesu. Kulingana na maandiko ambayo yamekuja kwetu, Bwana amekutendea. Amen. The Bible says believe that you have received. Believe that you have received and you shall have it. It is done. Can you thank God for it? Can you just say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for answered prayer. Thank you for answered prayer. In Jesus name. Amen. Tunaweza kurudi. It is done in Jesus name. Amen. Oh, kuni. Pawoko.